The Zach's rank, value, momentum, growth and income all factor into Zach's rank buys. Well, there seems to be a couple of aggressive growth stocks connected up with the manufacturing of a certain watch that uh, is the apple of uh, Brian Boland's eye. He's our aggressive growth stock strategist. You like the way I wove that all together? Yeah, that was that was a tight weave in the, there. I'm telling you. But, you know. It's like a hair piece. Well, you know. You, yeah. <laughs> Another thing you know much about. Yeah, uh, well, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> I know I'll have to know about it pretty good, you know, someday. Uh, so this is uh, what you call the Apple Watch edition of Zach's Rank Buys because you got two different companies here, one in the supply chain, the other on the manufacturing side or the design side. Well, you know, I think uh, the, the second one is really going to be one that's... Uh, going to be a company that is going to compete with the Apple Watch. Okay. Uh, you know, but it's it's a little different play on the idea here. All right, so let's talk about Skywork Solutions first. They are the uh, company making the chips for the Apple Watch. Right, they, they make chips for Apple, you know, and they, 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 it's very likely. We haven't seen a, a tear down yet of uh, one of the Apple Watches, and usually what, what happens when there's a new iPhone or iPad or whatever, mm -hmm. uh, someone out there is going to tear it, tear it down and basically take it apart piece by piece and look to see the components inside of it and who's supplying Apple. We know that Skyworks has been a supplier in the, you know, the iPhone, iPad, you know, I, I'm pretty sure it's in the, the notebooks as well. So uh, it, it stands to reason that the, they will be in the, uh, the watch as well. So is there a, a warning bell that you're trying to sound here that there may be another company uh, in the competitive arena who will try to duplicate this effort? Uh, well, uh, you know, there's many uh, companies that were that are in the supply chain uh, that have different sorts of chips that you know could or could not be in the watch. Mm. We just don't know that yet. Okay. You know, but uh, this is a company that has supplied Apple over the last several years. It is a Zach's rank number one with a growth style score of A. Mm -hmm. You know, those types of things that we like to see uh, for an aggressive growth play. They have two uh, recent earnings beats, and that comes after four meets. So they're just starting to get. Uh, kind of their legs underneath them inside of the Zach's rank. We see that uh, earnings growth has increased in fiscal 2015 from 53% last year to 63% this year. So that's also, you know, what we like to see. And from the chart, we can see the stock has moved up, uh, you know, quite high, you know, quite well uh, with a 22 times a forward mar multiple. That's pretty good considering it's a, it's a pretty big growth name. All right. Well, I just tell you uh, as a point of uh, interest here that as of this recording, uh, Fortune magazine is reporting that about 85% of the people who made an appointment to try one of these Apple watches ended up buying one. Oh, well, how about that? Yeah. See, so, so the that conversion rate was pretty high. Conversion rate awfully high, and especially when a lot of people were thinking that this is kind of a, uh, you know, just a gadget thing. This is just going to be to replace a Fitbit. Yeah. The Fitbit is just a, you know, a thing that is a health device more than anything else just tracks your steps mm -hmm. and it's very low cost you know the apple watch is a very high cost from what i'm seeing and judging from the uh, looks of me you can tell i don't have one of those <laughs> <No>. <laughs> fitbit <laughs> or apple watch oh, either one You're right right uh, got a whole case of apples but that's about it <laughs> movado mov is the designer and maker of watches right, that but, caught your eye right but these are watches that are just you know the jewelry style of watch this mm -hmm. isn't you know a digital watch or you know an apple watch or something like that okay so not connected not connected but when we're talking about you know the potential success of the apple watch we have to look out for you know where they're going to take share from and it's very likely that movado is is a name that could see you know, its stock decrease uh, due to this. At the same time, it is a Zach's rank number one with a growth, sto uh, growth style score of A. Mm -hmm. It also has a, a value style score of A. You know, and part of the reason uh, is that there is a lot of uh, traders looking at this stock saying, you know, this Apple Watch has been coming. We knew this Apple Watch is coming. It's going to take away the market share for this company. Really? You think so? It's a possibility, you, you know. Mean jewelry uh, versus something with functionality. Yeah. Do do I need two watches? You know, probably not. You Maybe. know, I yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. I don't know what time it is. No matter what, you know, no matter what I'm doing, whether right. I've got a watch, a phone, or anything. I use my phone <laughs> to tell the time, but that's just me. Yeah, I use no man's clock, Terry. Okay. I'm on a, on a clock all of my all own. of your own. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> we know. <laughs> well, the valuation is good, even with the last uh, the last earnings. I should mention. There was a positive earnings surprise of 100%. Basically, uh, that means that they they came in uh, 
double what the expectation was. Uh, but this is still a stock that has, you know, that it, it, it really has all three growth uh, value and momentum style scores as A. Mm. So there's something good going on here. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just we have to keep our eye on it, you know, given the idea of this uh, Apple Watch being a very uh, strong uh, competitor. Okay, do you own either one? I do not. All right, check out more stocks and stock picking strategies on our website. If you're not there already watching this video, get on over to Zacks.com's homepage because that is how you can link to all of that information. With Brian, I'm Terry Ruffalo.